guys, welcome back to this channel. Again, it's Max from the Mix Creation. Remember, I'm always inspired you to update you and I'm inspired to giving all the information that you need at your fingerprints. In today's video, we want to talk about the three months and six months contract. I know most of you, you came on what you call the six months or three months contract, which will soon finish or which will soon expire after the FIFA World Cup Qatar is done. The FIFA World Cup Qatar has a few weeks, only two weeks that we have the FIFA World Cup Qatar. And what am I talking about? We are looking at what you call three months and six months contract. Yes, most of us have that feeling that after we'll have the opportunity to get good employment or to get good jobs after we finish up this three or six months contract. Yes, the opportunities are always there, especially when you are living inside the country. It's far better than the person who is outside the country. You have a lot of opportunities, all right? But remember, you came on what you call a three months or six months visa, which is quite very tricky in one way or the other. Before you think of even staying and overstaying or getting charges of overstaying, something that you need actually to understand is a few things that you will need to understand and that is what i want to to talk about yes you are thinking of staying and looking for another job or another employment in one way or the other but the question that you need to ask first you need to ask yourself is that yes i want to stay is my company that gave me a three months or six months visa is this company willing to give me what you call an noc that is quite very interesting it's very important yes if you are willing if you are thinking of staying in the country and look for something else which is going to take you through make sure you do what you call ground checks ask those people you're working for take ground checkups ask them politely try to inquire if in case you finish up your three or six month contract, they can give you NOC. Because for you to look for another job or to look for a new employer, he will definitely, the only way he will need what you call a no objection certificate. Otherwise, if your company fails to give you a no objection certificate, the only option you have is the new company that is willing to give you a job is to make you exit. You exit, then they will give you a fresh visa, then you can return into the country. But what I have to assure you, if you don't do all those thorough things or those thorough checks up in one way or the other, don't think after World Cup, I'm going to run away, I'm going to hide. Yes, definitely. They will have to take you back to your home country. So take that as a very important. Then something that you need definitely also need to understand is in case you got a new company, in case you've gotten a new company, is that company, will that company be willing to sponsor me to come back in the country? Yes, if you get to an agreement and this company is willing to sponsor you back to the country, then that is well and good. You'll have to exit, then you'll have to come back. Okay? Then, something also people don't try to look into consideration is what is that contract that you sign with this company? Yes, we are looking at these contracts. This, this contract allow you to look for another new job, which is quite very important. But if this contract does not allow you to look for another job, then that means you'll have to exit the country. It will mean that you'll have to exit at whatever cost, you'll have to exit the country. So go through that contract to sign. Read all the clauses and understand the contract. If it will definitely give you that power for you to stay and do something else that is well and good something also that you need to understand one most of you you are here but you've not done medicals you are here three months some of you getting to finish up even the six months you've not done medicals so meaning that at whatever cost this company is not going to take you up and there's no way you can stay in the country you'll have to exit they'll have to take you back return you back to your home country so look into those things then definitely you will know exactly that you have to do then 
some of you you hear and something that you cannot understand some of you have not even gotten what you call cut id some of you are working three months or six months you've not even got cut id and remember if for example you have a, a residence permit it will probably be a very good way or it will be one of the easiest way it will be one of the uh, ways to uh, to to change drastically from one company to another in case you get someone who is willing to take you up because already you have the residence permit with you but there are those that are here on a three month or six month contract but they do not even have what you call a residence permit so meaning that life is going to get a little bit very hard for you and you'll have to exit the the country after the world cup for you to to come back then definitely you'll have need to have what you call a visa for you to come back into the country so what will i advise you looking at all those things that i've talked about yes you need a job to stay you want to stay we want you to stay but also do those background checks for yourself find out some things go consider those things that we've talked about and the time is now for you to do that because remember when the games start when these games definitely start at one way or the other you will not have the time when it gets busy you will not have the time do those black background checks if you want to stay in the country but if you feel you don't want to stay then probably after the, the tournament you will definitely be taken back to your country hope i've tried to share up something for you thank you so much for coming back this channel remember it is mix from the mix creation if it's your first time to come across this channel please consider supporting and subscribing this channel by the way don't forget to hit the subscribe button you'll always be updated wherever i upload a new video thank you so much see you again in the next video it's mix from the mix creation tv